Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TNS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is a comment video still at work. Can y'all believe it? And not no closer to going. <laughs> it just seems like the day going by so slow. I just, I just want to go home. Okay, but Lucy is going to start us off by saying, has anyone else noticed these days how buff Spence looks? He definitely has been working out. Oh, yes, honey. I have noticed, listen, we noticed so much that I had to put up a post in the community group yesterday. He's doing a good job. I think <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Crystal Hopkins says, I wonder why people want to rewrite. Oh, you know what? I read this in the last one, but I'll reread it again. It's okay. I don't know how I've made it in this section. But she says, um, people are trying to rewrite history. Spencer hasn't touched as man almost two years. People keep saying um, the writers could write it where Spencer is Ace's father. Okay, why not make Joss's Sonny's daughter if that's the case? Even though Carly was married to Jax and hadn't been with Sonny in years. To make Spencer the father now would be beyond crazy. I agree again. <laughs> My opinion has not changed. I don't know why they're doing this. I, you know what? We all know we sitting at the kitchen table talking. This is just what we do. Maybe some people would rather see Spencer and Esme together. Put it in the comments if you are more of a fan than of Spencer and Esme than you are of Spencer and Trina. Just let, you know, because you like what you like. Let us know in the comments if you would prefer to see Esme and Spencer raising Ace together. Um, because I don't know, Crystal, because they have said a thousand times and we've said a thousand times Spencer hasn't hadn't touched that girl in months, months and months and months and months. That's why we felt like she had to throw herself at Nicholas. Do you see what I'm saying? Because she couldn't trap Spencer. Spencer wasn't falling for it because during the time that she got pregnant, he was helping Trina. He was only thinking about Trina. He did not want to fool with Esme. I do not know why people are trying to rewrite that part of it. Like, it, you know... But you do have people that would rather have Spencer and Esme together. So put it in the comments. Like I said, is that something that you would prefer? Like most of us are are spring of fans. And please don't be scared to comment. Y'all know we all family over here. But I would like to hear a different perspective. Um, is there anybody anti Sprina? Put it in the comments. Steve Johnson says, do you think Victor will kill Drew? Yes. Well, now that you bring it up, it's a strong possibility that Drew could get reactivated and something could happen to him. Do I think he'll die? Mm, I don't know. It's hard to say because we just got that character Drew back. Now, us as fans, we have been complaining like, ugh, you know, we really don't like um, Cameron Matheson playing Drew. If they did kill him off, I don't think I would miss him. I don't think I would care. Put it in the comments. I would. It would be messed up for Carly because what would they do with her character then? Because they have them starting to get serious. Remember, I told you guys, Drew is going to propose to Carly at some point. Um, whether it be because he just wants to be married with her or because to you know protect each other from the insider trading um, thing, you know. So I think it's possible that Drew is in huge danger. Um, I don't really know if Victor will kill him because I'm not sure what the writers have planned for his character. Do you see what I'm saying? Because I think him and Carly are supposed to go forward with their relationship. But I do think Drew is definitely going to get involved. He's going to be in danger. He may get reactivated. Eileen says, hi, Baroness. I don't want anyone to get mad at me, but it was great without Cardi and Carly in the latest episodes. You know, I didn't even notice. Oh, God, what kind of Carly babe am I? I didn't even notice that Carly was missing in these last few episodes. So maybe, but Nina was missing too. <laughs> so, I mean, it's okay. Nobody is mad because I didn't even notice, you know, because it's so much going on. And that's just a testament to sometimes the writers and the other actors that play on our show, right? Because they can take our attention away and make us forget. And right now we're focused on other storylines, the Victor storyline. We want to see what's going to go on with Spring and um, Esme. So, nope, nobody should be mad at you. Because, I, like I said, I didn't even notice that she wasn't there. And I'm a huge Carly fan. Shit, they show Joss. They show Joss enough. We don't need both of them all the time. Steve Johnson says, Esme should know. 
um, the $80 won't get her anywhere, especially with that SOB Victor Casadine on your tail. I didn't even notice how much. All I seen was like a 20 at the top. I didn't notice how many 20s it was. And yeah, where she couldn't even get a bus ticket nowhere for $80. I don't think, where could she have gone for $80? She couldn't even get, what? The cheapest hotel in Port Charles for $80. Like she wouldn't have got that far at all. You're right about that. So I don't know. Barbara says, Valentine is good with every woman on the show. He can be very sexy and loyal to his woman and a wonderful father. Then turn around and be a cutthroat and heart and heartless with other people. Uh, well, he is supposed to be a Cassidyne, right? And most of them are like that. If you're not in their circle or their family, they really don't have any use for you one way or another. Um, yeah, Valentine is very cutthroat and it's going to be very interesting to see who's, you know, who's the most ruthless. This is going to come out because let me tell you what, Victor does not want to hurt Valentine because he's his son. He loves him. It, for, for whatever, you know, his creepy love, however that works. He is going to go after Anna. He might even go after Charlotte right now. Do y'all see what I'm saying? Now that um, Eileen has told all of this, he could go after Charlotte. He could go after Lord. Anything can happen right now. Like Victor is spinning, okay? They already done broke his manhood. Y'all know what I'm saying? So at this point, everybody can get it. If I and I'm not gonna lie, let's put ourselves in Victor's shoes. Okay, everybody lying to me, even my son. What everybody gonna get it? Boom, by poor Charles, Laura, Charlotte. Like, I would just kidnap everybody. I'm not gonna lie, if I was Victor, I wouldn't care. What you gonna do? I would take Charlotte, I would take Ace, I would be kidnapping everybody and trying to destroy everything if I was Victor after Eileen because the look and I know he's the bad guy but the look on Victor's face I felt sorry for him for a millisecond when he heard Valentine's voice it was like I said it in the comments I just gotta get it uploaded and taken care of but the look on his face it was like anger relief it was just so many emotions and one expression I felt something for him and I'm sure it was empathy I felt bad for Victor I did in that second until he threw Eileen off the bridge with one hand Jesus um Casey E says Felicia is also is also a spy along with the rest of the crew that's how her and our our besties yes I know she was a spy I know I know she was a spy and a good spy um but I don't put spy and private investigator under the same category right like a private investigator to me is like I'm gonna follow your husband to see if he's cheating or I'm gonna follow your wife to see, you know what I'm saying private eye is to me is like a Columbo Sherlock Holmes Perot type thing a spy to me is like espionage like Anna like how um when Felicia goes and undercover and and changes her appearance. Do you see what I'm saying? To me, that's a spy. <laughs> I don't find a, pri a PI and a spy like the same. Even though they are kind of the same, to me, I find a spy a little bit more skilled than a private investigator, right? So a, a private investigator will maybe work more along like with the police a little bit and do policey type things. But a spy, don't care. A spy has no rules, no bound. They don't care. Like, when they go into disguise and like how they kidnapped Eileen. And that's the type of, yeah, she's more WSB. But now, as times has, have gone on, it would be okay. I, I, I don't know which comment video. Like I said, I'm still trying to get stuff uploaded. But I said it in one of my comment videos that it would be great if they would give Felicia a business to where she can run her business, right? Sort of like Sunny. And still be up to adventures and stuff, right? Give her a boutique, a clothing store like Myrtle. I would love to see fashions. Give me more fashions. I would love to see um, Nina and everybody. Because Felicia is a neutral character, right? Who wouldn't shop with Felicia, Nina, and all them? In fact, put her boutique in the Metro Court. Every other business is in the Metro Court. Why not? Why not go to the Metro Court lobby? Because that's where all the happens is, happenings are anyway. Um, but yeah, she could do that and still do her spy work. I want them to give Felicia something too, just not a private investigator. We need something new for her 
so she can interact with everybody in a boutique or something like that would give her the opportunity to do that because people would constantly be in and out. Daisy Flower 40 says Carly will be mad, but forgive them. Dante can't really say anything because he came to town to take Sonny down. Donna and Avery are too young to understand, and Christina had numerous times where she hated Sonny. And other worldly responds and says, Christina has been angry at her father, but she's loyal and would never support his opposition. Yeah. And yes, Carly will forgive her children, but she will choose Michael and Jocelyn to save Sonny. I really do believe that it will put a big strain between all of the siblings if something happens to Sonny because of Michael and Jocelyn. And it'll also put a strain between Carly and her children. I'm telling you, Carly don't play like she is. She even though they're not together, she still follows that don't snitch rule and the fact that her children are trying to put him away it's not gonna go well i i don't know and then not to mention how is willow gonna feel willow is gonna be angry because nina is gonna be upset and hurt it's gonna be a mess uh oh casey again says hi a busybody baroness i know you wanted to, hold on i'm sorry <laughs> she says i know you want it I, uh, my opinion on, oh yes, the interracial love. Well, my opinion is that it's not the 1950s. My older sister was with a guy that was Mexican and black and, and five, and I guess you're saying he had five children or they had five children that are Mexican and black themselves. So love is love. And GH can't understand that by 2023, I know. So if they don't get it by now, then they'll never get it. I'm team Sprina all the way. Th th I'm glad to hear it. I mean, you know, it doesn't, even if you, you know, no matter what, you can root for Spencer and Esme. If that's the couple of your choosing, that doesn't mean that you're against interracial couples. That just means those are the, the characters that you prefer together. I don't want anybody to think if they choose uh, Esme and Spencer, we're going to be like, ah, oh, you, you know, none of that. No, we at the kitchen table. Who would you rather see Spencer with? Um, Esme or Trina. Let's take color out of it. Let's just put, you know, the characters and how that could be. I don't want to put in, you know, I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable, but I feel like it would be up to the writers and, every, you know, and the, the network and everything to keep them together. But like we said in previous comment videos, a lot of people said that, you know, the reason why we haven't had interracial couples on our show is because a lot of the fans do write in and say they'll stop watching and ruin the show if they continue with this interracial thing. So we'll just have to see how far um, the rest of the world outside of our little 1400 soon to be people are accepting of Sprina because it's not that many of us, right? And it's millions of other people that watch General Hospital you know, our little team might be okay with it, but who knows if we're outnumbered or not. So we'll just have to wait and see. Like I said, because they are a young couple, um, I'm hoping that that will give them more of a chance. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they're young and we do have some young people that watch General Hospital. So maybe that, that'll keep them on. And Betty's Avon YouTube channel. Betty, welcome to the comments. Um, I know you're new here. Thank you for commenting and welcome. And Betty, do you sell Avon? Because if you do, um, send me an email at busybodybearness at gmail.com. And we can share like your link, your Avon link. And I can put it in my description or, you know, because, you know, I remember Avon, girl. Shoot, I used to sell Avon back in the day. Or if your channel, like, is it like you show your products on um your YouTube channel so we can help support you. Just let us know, Betty. Hit me up on the on my email. But Betty says, is Angie and Jesse coming back to all my children? Well, we don't even know if all my children is coming back, Betty. Um, I said this before that um, Kelly Ripper, when I made that All My Children video, that's when I got information that Kelly Ripper was uh, going to reboot the All My Children series. It was going to be an evening show. Susan Lucci was on board. A lot of the former Angie and Jesse, they were all on board. They were. Unfortunately, the show was supposed to air on ABC. Kelly Ripa does Kelly and Wits' face in the morning time. And she also has a product line of um, 
Oh, y'all, I can't think of it. It's like a makeup or shampoo or something. Anyway, she whatever product that she's selling is in big competition with like, I think it's Revlon or uh, Maybelline. It's one of those type of companies, right? So basically, ABC is telling Kelly Ripa, like, you need to stop selling your stuff because it's outselling one of our biggest sponsors. We're to the point now where, like I said, we don't even know if Kelly Ripa is going to renew her contract with ABC for her talk show because of this. We're not sure if we're going to, if they're going to stream it right now, it's still up in the air because let's be clear. Yes, this was her and Mark Consuelo's idea to reboot the show, but ABC owns that show and Disney ain't going to give up nothing. I think we would probably have to pick it and sleep in front of ABC studios for them to, at this point, bring back any one of our older soap operas, you know, because that's just how funky that they are. Like the fact that they want this girl to close her business because they sponsors, you know, a sponsor that has been around since before most of us have been on earth. Y'all can't keep up with the new product. So you want to cry baby and try to stop her bag. And I don't blame her. You know, if she can't do it, I can't be mad at her. Us as fans, we just going to have to deal with it and hope that they can come up with something else. Um, let's see. Oh, Betty's going to end it off. Now, don't forget, Betty, hit me up in my email and, you know, I can put your, your link to your Avon and stuff if that's what you're doing. All right, you guys, I'm still at work. I still got to earn my keep around here. Thanks for listening to me. Please hit the like before you leave and I'll catch y'all in the comments.